Good morning guys and welcome to our second workout of the week. Today is a speed workout. Today is the day where you essentially push yourself to go as fast as you can go. So I am going to try for 7.5 miles an hour on the treadmill for three miles. Three miles feels like a comfortable speed distance to me because it's something that I can keep up for a minimal amount of miles. Um, so I'm going to try 7.5 miles an hour. The goal when I run is always not to walk. However, especially in the middle of a speed workout, if you feel like you just can't do it, number one, you can always back down on the speed. Number two, you can always stop and walk for, I don't know, a couple, a minute, a few seconds. Um, if you need to take a break during speed work, I'm all for that because speed work is hard. So, um, I will try not to take a break. I will try not to walk. Um, but sometimes what I'll do if I need to, if the 7.5 is really difficult, I will, um, once I hit like one mile, I'll walk for about 20 seconds and then start running again. Once I hit two miles, I'll walk for about 20 seconds, 30 seconds. And then once I hit 2.5 miles, I'll walk for just about 20 seconds. So it helps a little bit and I feel like it's minimal walking, but again, the goal is not to have to do that. So I will check in with you guys after I am done with my speed workout and I hope you guys are having a great workout today as well. Okay guys, three miles done, 7.5 miles an hour. It felt great. It was very challenging, believe me. Um, but I did not rest. Um, I kind of wanted to rest at mile two, but then I was like, oh, I just have one more mile. Come on, I, I've done two, I can do one more. So 7.5 miles an hour, I did not need to rest. Um, I did want to tell you guys that I do work up to the speed that I'm going to run at. Um, so for example, if I'm going to run at 7.5 miles an hour, oh, sorry, I'm still catching my breath. I will start um, half a mile slower than what I intend to run. So if I wanna run 7.5 miles an hour, I start out at 7.0 and I run 7.0 for a tenth of a mile, then I bump it up to 7.1 for a tenth of a mile, then 7.2, 7.3, 7.4, 7.5. So by the time I've run half a mile, I am at the speed that I want to be at, and then I just hold it for the rest of the run. So um, sometimes I will try to warm up a little faster and do like half of a tenth of a mile at each speed level, um, but I don't just jump on and start running 7.5 miles an hour. So that is how I increase my speed slowly. As far as cooling down, I don't, I should, but I don't really cool down, I just stop. Um, I'm okay with that though because I generally will go directly to the rowing machine and start rowing and rowing is um, my essentially my cool down. It's a much slower, um, less intense exercise so I consider that my cool down. When I row, I don't row for speed at all. I row and I focus on the muscle groups that I'm trying to use. Um, so that is essentially my cool down. So today I did um, 15 minutes on the rower after my three mile run. So yay, workout is done for me today. I wanna hear how your guys' workouts are going. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'd be happy to try and help. And um, hopefully you are on day two as well. So we're doing good, going strong. Woohoo! happy Tuesday guys. Thanks for running with me.